what is up guys and we are back with another video and it hurts my soul to make this video because i know this isn't going to end well but today we're finally going to be comparing ayaka to kaya and the reason i don't think this is going to go really well is because i've been using ayaka recently and oh my god does she hit hard but we're going to see how hard that actually is when we compare it to another character that has the exact same artifact set the exact same weapons and the exact same investment so if we take a look at my Kaya, he has almost 2200 attack, he has 62% crit rate and 182% crit damage. He also has 143% energy recharge. And I am using the 4 piece blizzard set as well as the primordial jade cutter. Again, they're going to be using the exact same weapons and artifacts. And on top of that, their talent levels are also exactly the same as well as their constellations. Okay, now we switched over to Ayaka and really the only difference is going to be the base stats because obviously Ayaka being a 5 star has higher base stats. She has 2400 attack and then the second big difference is going to be the crit damage and energy recharge because as you guys know Ayaka has ascension crit damage that's why her crit damage is almost 40% higher and then on the other hand Kaya has ascension energy recharge hence why Ayaka's energy recharge isn't as high. So in the testing we're going to be looking at their auto attack chain to see how much damage it's doing and how fast it is. We're also going to be looking at their burst and E ability to see how much damage that's doing. And then after we do the damage testing as well as do a direct comparison side by side, we're going to jump into actual examples of both of them in combat and then talk about the pros and cons of each one. So yeah, without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and get started with the E ability. As you guys can tell, Kaya does around 15k and then Ayaka on the other hand does a 26k E ability. But one thing we have to keep in mind is Ayaka has a longer cooldown at 10 seconds compared to Kaya who only has a 6 second cooldown. Okay, and the next step we have the auto attack chain. So how we calculated this was as soon as a dash cancel is over. And for Kaya, we had 1.34 seconds to do his entire auto attack chain. And then in total, he's doing around 14.3k damage, bringing his overall DPS for one auto attack chain to around 10,000. Now, I think most people agree that the optimal auto attack chain for Ayaka is four normal attacks and then a charge attack. With this, it is a bit longer at 3.47 seconds, but the damage is a lot more because she does a lot more attacks but the overall DPS is around 13,244. But one thing we're also including in Ayaka's testing is her passive talents, because a lot of it does boost DPS. Her first passive talent increases cryo damage by 18% every time she dashes, so that's basically going to be 100% uptime on that, that's why I'm including in all the testing. And then the second thing is this one right here, which basically every time she uses her E ability, she gets a 30% normal and charge attack damage bonus for 6 seconds. Now with this passive, her damage output significantly increases to 64k, bringing her overall DPS with her auto attack chain to 18.5k. And then lastly, we have the burst for both characters. Kaya's burst does around 6k every second, and it does 16 hits if you manage to land all of them. Yeah, you can increase this slightly if you rotate clockwise or counterclockwise around the enemy, but for the most part, it's going to be around 16 hits, which total damage is going to be 96,000 damage in around 8 seconds. And you know, already at this point, Ayaka is kind of just blowing out Kaya in every single category. But when it comes to the burst, it's just not even close because Ayaka's burst scaling is just ridiculous. I don't even know how to describe it. Just You guys just have to watch and see. And as you guys can tell, we absolutely melted through the Ruin Guard. We didn't even finish the burst. It just already took him out. And if we do break it down, Ayaka's burst does around 20 hits if you do manage to land all the hits. And then each hit does 12.2k damage. So in total, we're doing around 250,000 damage in 5 seconds, bringing that DPS to 49,000, or almost 50k damage per second. So not only does this make it stronger than Kaya's burst by a big margin, but it also makes it probably one of the highest scaling bursts in the game. And it's just crazy to watch, especially if you get all the ticks off in like a freeze team. Now let's go ahead and talk about the pros and cons for both characters, as well as look at burst uptime and other things the characters provide. Now usually when we look at burst uptime, characters that have low energy costs compete really well. But in this case, it just highlights how strong Ayaka's burst scaling is. Because as you guys can see, Ayaka has an 80 energy cost with a 20 second cooldown. Now Kaya on the other hand has a 60 energy cost and a 15 second cooldown. And on top of that, his passive talents help generate energy for him. So meaning Kaya can keep his burst uptime really really high. But the reason why this doesn't really matter that much is just because of how much damage Ayaka's burst does. Because as we saw with our damage comparison, Ayaka was doing 245,000 with her burst. And why this matters so much is because even if Kaya has a 100% uptime on his burst, and say he's able to cast his burst twice, he's still going to fall behind Ayaka even though she's only casted her burst once. So let's go ahead and check out a scenario where we're able to use our burst multiple times. And we're going to see that Kaya is going to spam his burst a lot more often compared to Ayaka, but Ayaka is still going to do a lot more damage. And just to spice it up, for Kaya, I'm going to be using auto attacks, my E ability, and my burst. 
and for Ayaka, I'm just going to use my E ability and burst. And as we saw from that, Kaya got to use his burst almost four times, whereas Ayaka only got to use it twice. And like I said, that matches up with their cooldowns as well as their energy recharge. Kaya has basically doubled the burst uptime and burst cast ability than Ayaka, but the damage that Ayaka dishes out is just not comparable. Because you guys saw, Kaya cleared it in 1 minute and 16 seconds. Because keep in mind, Kaya was using his E ability, his Q ability, as well as his complete auto attack chain with dash cancelling. All Ayaka was using was her E ability and Q ability and she only did it twice. And the fact that she had a time of 1 minute and 20 seconds, a 4 second difference from Kaya, just speaks for itself. And it really hurts for me to admit this, but my gosh, Ayaka just destroys Kaya in every single category. Auto attacks, charge attacks, E ability, Q ability. The fact that she did what she just did, and you guys just witnessed it, it is just completely crazy. And I know Kaya's a 4 star, and I know she's a 5 star, but keep in mind, they have the exact same investment, exact same constellations, exact same talent levels. Even though he's a 4 star and she's a 5 star, the damage difference between the two is miles and miles. It's almost like she's a 6 star compared to him. One huge pro for Ayaka, specifically in the Perma Freeze team, is that she opens up a slot. In order for Kaya to run Perma Freeze, he needs Chong Yun to infuse his auto attacks with Cryo. The thing with Ayaka is she does it herself, meaning you can replace Chong Yun with an Nemo character, get 4 piece Viridescent Shred, you know, someone like Kazuha, Sucrose, you know, boost your damage even further. Really, the only thing Kaya has over Ayaka is his drip. But now, nah, I guess one other thing that you can say for Kaya is he can be built as a physical DPS. Whereas Ayaka, yeah, she can run other comps outside of the freeze comp, but it's just so, so good on her that there's no reason to run anything else. And on top of that, she can't really run any physical DPS set because every time she dashes, she gets cryo infusion. But that's pretty much it for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would love if you guys could subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. But yeah, I will see you guys next time.